what she's been up to. Eloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods, in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices, and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Aaron handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. Only him. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn, Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world, an effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right, because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well... That's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, Climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. 
So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley. Until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. See you later, Gaia. Until next time. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time with the dialogue because I want to get started on the mission. I'm looking at the time and looking at my webcam to make sure that it's actually recording. So, it must be an OBS situation or there's too many files in the slot. Well, that can't be because everything's on a 4 terabyte because I updated everything to hold everything in place. So, it couldn't be that. Hey, Lord, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. There he is. I was like looking for him. Like, Looks yeah. like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see a new Taru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? <laughs> Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took... a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. 
fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command. Even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. All right. So I'm just looking because <laughs> on the side to make sure that the webcam is like not even frozen because I don't know what's going on with it. I really don't want to update OBS. Right, so let me get this straight. The angry orb that we thrashed at the battle for Meridian. Right down that that was another one of those subordinate function things. Yeah, that one was called Hades. Huh. And you said Aloy ended it for good, right? A Gaia doesn't need it? I think we're all better off without it. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? <sighs> yes. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. I can't with him. <laughs> uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? <laughs> takes the keg <laughs> but it broke her shield and of course my see if there's anything over there on it we'll check out the battlefield let's start with that zenith well there are obviously more zeniths than we know about can't believe you fought one of them. 
Almost didn't make it. Whew. The snow brought the chill. So, my recording stopped. <laughs> the webcam again. I gotta figure out what's causing it to. Anyways, like I was saying, he broke her shield. It's I don't I don't know what's causing my thing to like stop recording. It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. I can't believe this. <laughs> this stop recording. The had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. I don't know what can possibly can stop it from recording. Like, I really don't. <sighs> Until I figure it out, probably don't have to use the webcam. Which really sucks, because the past couple of... Like, yesterday, it didn't have no issue. It just started really late. I don't know if it's, like overcharging it's overheating i don't know what it could be <laughs> that's causing it to not record my webcam but if it's going to keep persisting you know i just would not use the webcam anymore but i am going to finish out and also on the game focus. looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else which really sucks Ah. Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. This really sucks. <laughs> it really does, because... Uh, you have like no idea. Looks camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? I mean, there's really no All point right. of like. I think I have an idea what happened here. No point of like I recording. Get back to ah, this really sucks. <laughs> I have to figure out why is it still like it's freezing. I'll do it when I come back from like my errands. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. This sucks. <laughs> Not having my webcam. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I mean, I'm going to finish it up. I just have to like focus on it like later on. After I finish up Horizon Forbidden West. I don't know what else could it be like causing it to not... record properly. It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. 
Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Alright, so all the way down we go. But yeah, like I was saying, some kind of we probably don't have the webcam for the next couple of weeks until you said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. This really sucks. <laughs> Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I deactivated it, activated it again, and it's not coming back. I don't know what can possibly be wrong with it. <laughs> the hell is this? Oh, it's a transmitter. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eluthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. It sucks. <laughs> it really does. It, I've been doing it so, good all week, and then next thing you know, just ruined. frozen. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. It really sucks. Because usually I take screenshots at the same time to help with thumbnails. I don't know, maybe that's what's causing it to... What's in here? Causing it to freeze, like... Everything's in the same file. Maybe I have to change the file's location of the screenshot. I'll test it out tonight. But this is like my second video that the webcam wasn't working. All this stuff. Wonder what they were doing here. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. That just sucks. It really does. I've been doing so well for the past couple of months. <laughs> My second month of recording this. If not, and the webcam keeps freezing again and over and over again, I'll just have to finish it out without the webcam. And then kind of figure out, like, maybe I have to put one this file into a different huge. location. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. I bet that ass is her second one. Somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. What's her name? Beta? Let's look around. That beta so, prototype. Um, how is Erin taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus. It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. <laughs> well, he's loyal. That's for sure. Always. That's really suck. I gotta figure out why is it stopped recording like that. <laughs> it, it's puzzle. bothering me and trolling me to at this point. Storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Yeah, there's a lot of resources in this thing. Is there anything here? No. 
You know the next, excuse me, you know the next game I want to finish up is Cyberpunk. <laughs> Cyberpunk. Play that game and never finished it. Alright, let's access the console. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Oh boy. <laughs> Back to the notebook. Data, not that one. Usually it'd be in one of these damn things. Aha! There it is. Distress signal. 237. Cool. Strange, it says there's 236 containers. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. That's weird, because it says that one's missing. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, Hello Elizabeth. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the specter gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Alright, so I'm going to end the video here because I'm going to get ready to head out. But when we come back, we'll finish this up. Um, Probably in the next couple of videos, I probably won't have the webcam on because I got to figure out what's going on. Maybe I have to switch out the files because I put every file in the same location because, like I said, when I'm recording and editing videos, I want to keep everything in the exact same location. So we'll come back, we'll finish this up, and now I'll figure out what's going on with the webcam. In the meantime, I will catch you guys in my next post.